don't believe the hype about 5G. You don't need it, and you have the right to say that. 5G is not just one kind of radiation. It's going to include 3G and 4G in it as well, and it's going to bring massive amounts of radiation right next to your bedroom window. Do you really need the capacity for your phone to talk to your dishwasher or your dryer or your coffee pot? I don't want that, and I don't want to see the consequences of what will happen to us and to the wildlife around us if we have exposure to this kind of radiation that we cannot escape. It will be everywhere. That's the only way it will work. There's no way out once we launch 5G in major cities. You will not have a place to go where you will not be exposed. It's not been tested adequately, and the tests that we do have show that it can damage our health, it can accelerate the growth of bacteria, it can accelerate the growth, growth of, of viruses, and it can damage the eye. That's not an acceptable risk as far as I'm concerned. And I'm not alone in that view. There are hundreds of scientists who agree with me who've petitioned the UN for a moratorium on the development of 5G until we have safety guidelines in place, which we do not at this time, because the FCC has said they don't need to revise their 23-year-old safety guidelines. We at Environmental Health Trust are challenging that.